Umar ibn al-Khattab, the head of the Islamic State, the most powerful man on earth that time, he will enter his house and see his wife about to eat sweet. So he tells his wife, where did you get the money to buy this sweet? So she says, oh Umar, I've been saving up money to buy this sweet that I've been craving for ever since I saw it at one of my friend's house. The wife of the Khalifa, the wife of the greatest leader, she's been saving up money to buy sweet that she's been desiring for a long time. So Umar will say to her, did every single Muslim taste this sweet? So she say, obviously no. She say, no, not every Muslim tasted this sweet. So Umar ibn al-Khattab will say, Wallahi, by Allah, Umar and the family of Umar would never taste this sweet until the rest of the Muslim Ummah taste this sweet. If somebody rings you and calls you from the home and says, your house is, is on fire, your word, of course, nobody will sit here, everybody will run away. Then an information comes, another call comes and says to you, your wife or your husband, your children, the money, whatever you had, is also burned. That you're worried more. But if another information comes and says to you, no, your house is caught on fire, but your family is fully safe. Then you say, Alhamdulillah, if my family is safe, then let the house be burned. So the second one is a remedy. This is what Allah says, فَأَثَابَكُمْ غَمَّا بِغَمَّ الثواب الغم يكون ثواب The distress could also be a, a reward as we understand inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala If your mother is alive go to her tonight go to her tonight go to her today go to her now and ask her Mom, please make da'a for me Ask her Wallahi thumma wallah a time may come a time may come you will need someone to make dua for you and your mother will not be there. Your mother may not be there. But if she is there today, if your father is there today, go to them because their dua is a vehicle that will drive you to Jannah. Go to them today before tomorrow. But if your mother is died, if she is dead, if she is gone, cry. And don't cry tears. Cry blood because one of the gates of Jannah has just been locked before you. Your mother, your mother, your mother, despite, regardless of, of how she could be or treat, even if she's not Muslim, by the way. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we have to stress how he, seriously, he was concerned about how he would die. He would make this dua all the time, all the time. Aisha radiallahu anha narrated this, Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anha narrated this, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi would say, Ya muqallib al qulub thabbit qalbi ala deenik. Ya muqallib al-qulub, thabbit qalbi ala deenik. Oh, the one who turns the hearts, turn my heart firm on your religion. Pause, ikhwatul iman, pause. Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is asking Allah, please, Ya Allah, my, you, you, my heart is between your fingers. The heart of the slave is between the two fingers of Ar-Rahman. He tosses it and turns it how he wills. Ya Allah, my heart, please take care of it, keep it firm. He would make istighfar 70 to 100 times a day when he's going to travel. He would seek refuge in Allah. He would seek refuge from shaitan. He would seek refuge from evil, from sihr, from evil eye, from seeing bad things. Marketplace, seek refuge from Allah. He would seek refuge all the time. The man who was promised Jannatul Firdaus al-A'la, probably the highest rank above that, whose future, past, present sins had been forgiven. He never sinned one in his life. Yet he is concerned about how he would die. And that was the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In spite of the fact that they were tortured, they were killed, their mothers were killed in front of them, their fathers were killed in front of them, their children were killed in front of them, their daughters were killed in front of them. But in spite of this, they understood that they were the best of generation that had been taken out from mankind to enjoin what is good and forbid what is evil. They understood that if, if their forefathers, their fathers, 
their brothers, their sisters, their families, their houses, their dwellings, their merchandises, their businesses. If anything had become more beloved to them than Allah and His Messenger, then they would have tasted the punishment of Allah. Listen to the ocean. Listen to the waves crushing. Look up and look at the stars of His, look at the creation of Allah Azza wa Jal. Look at the billions of grains of sand that you are sitting on. And look at the trees that surround us. Subhanak Ya Rabb. Subhanak Ya Rabb that all of His creation, be it the earth, be it the ocean, be it the trees, be it the animals, be it in sand, be it the jinn, be it the prophets, be it the angels, be it Jibreel, be it Israfil. Everything is dead except Allah Azza wa Jal. Everything is dead. Everything is dead except Allah Azza wa Jal. Nothing moves, nothing stops, nothing makes and nothing breaks except by His will. Subhanak Ya Rabbi.